called a DIR PCS. All right. Now this is actually a status file. Now in this folder, you will see files only when the process is up. Okay, now here, if you can see, we you have only two for running, right? Apart from the manager, you have this extract and this pump, PCS. Okay, now you are seeing files for others also, which is actually wrong here. So there has to be some, so it means that but there was some crash in the system and all. Now, for example, this file, if you open this one, what will you see? You, you, you will see the P IDs and all. But that's it. All right. And it will give from where it is for running and all. I think in your case, if you start the um, manager now, you might see something. And if you do PS minus CF, so if you you can see the process. Now if I just go for something abandoned, that is ext01. Well, let me see if I have, yeah, this is a file. But if you do the ps minus cf on this, you will not find anything. So this has been the zombie one. So the thing is like my VM, it was uh, I would say four stops. It was four stop a lot of times so at that case you, you might see the, this so let me see if, uh, if I can start it up oh it's still appended let me check why the password has expired all right Okay, I'll change the password afterwards. I want to show you something with the PCSC now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the same case here you have. So ideally, what I want to say is if the process is down here, and if you're seeing a PCS file for that, it means there is was something wrong. Like you see here, DIR, Prep 03. Now, Zep 03 is abandoned for quite long at like two two six one hours. Let me try to start it. Still abandoned. Let me check why. Invalid is in password. Okay, this is related to algorithms, so of course, but that will change. Let me change the password. I don't have any option now.
I'm just trying to replicate the issue I had in production. Let me see if I can just replicate it. Okay, so this is now same here. So that is correct. I think I have. Okay, uh, let me try to replicate it, okay? I mean, uh, this there was one error in which how it was like, you know, uh, I'm not trying to, I'm not able to replicate, but I will try to explain to you how it was. So, for example, this process, all right? So, it was showing for running for me. Let me open a notepad. So there was so one of the case in my production where the process was showing as running, but it was actually not doing anything. Thing is, no session in the database. All right, there was nothing at the database, and the PID of the process was not there. Was not present. All right. So the thing is. So nothing was there, but it was still showing me as running. Would you understand this up till now? At, at GG level, you are seeing something, but actually uh, nothing was there in the database. So that's what you were trying to say? Yes, 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 yes. The thing is, well, there was no session. Okay, well, let me... Uh, Ask you one thing: How do you see the session of OGG from the database? Now, for example, this is the web applicator, right? So, what we do, uh, we play with the module name. module like okay is it okay clear uh, but that is the way we check and also of course we can do check with username also which will show you all the sessions Is that okay? So the thing is, for this case, in suppose in my case, I'm seeing it as running here, but I was not seeing any session at the database. So that is what I mean. So there was nothing, or even if the session was there, it was not doing anything. And even after I killed the session, it was still showing as up here. Is it okay? Clear this pop-up point? Not clear. Okay, and also another thing is, I was not seeing any process at the server level. Also, no PID. So here I am able to see right. But even in that case, there was no PID of the process present. The, the PID was not present. You understanding? Yeah. So, for example, now you face such a scenario, then what to do? So, but here, nothing is, whenever a process is showing as running here, it will have a file in DIR PCS. Even if you delete the file, it's fine. The thing is, what I did, I went to DIR PCS and I saw that it was still having that file here. Which file? EBXT file dot C 
सकती है पीसीआर पीसीआर सो वट आई डेट आई जस्ट मूड द फाइल आई पूरी नेम द फाइल एंड देन इट वॉज शोइंग एज अबेंडेड हियर But yes, I mean, let's play with it because. But yeah, don't do this. I mean, don't play in production. All right. Even if the replicate spoils, I'm I'm okay here. So let me try. If I what will happen if I try to play with this file of a actual running process. here it is abandoned now it was running earlier but now it is abandoned now let's check in the database possession is still there so well, logically it is gone but actually it is there so this file can you know spoil everything okay like i mean your appearance it will not cause any data loss but it can fool the appearance because if you check this pid it is still present Are you understand the dir pcs files you can i mean the i mean the the status of running or abandoned can change but actually it will not do anything more so just thumb rule is don't play with it and yes if you are seeing any case like this like it it is showing upper running here but actually it is i am not having any sessions in the database or no any process in the server then at that point i can openly rename name it because i want it to solve right but for a running process please do not play with it so here if i move it back it will be all fine i was trying to show this case here but i mean that happened in my i mean uh prod environment but the i mean just i'm trying to show you i, I mean this is the way it happens all right so now i have moved it back so now if if you see it will be showing as up here you understand me any doubt here so uh, in your case you also renamed and started so the new file has been created there yeah all it contains is what just the pid array and all right where is that cat output yeah so all it contains is what what is which is like it is for replicate or extract the process ids and all for replicate name the thing is okay uh, the appearance is not that good but yes you can see the pid and all the process id the name the port server etc is there could be a case uh, it can be that uh, uh, there is a session in the database and the pid also is there on the os level and uh, it has not written uh, in the in this file no no it can yeah. be i mean what you mean to say that uh this file is not present but the file is present uh, but there is no information in that no 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 it can't be either the file will be there or it will not be there 
but you can't have a empty file. The meaning of this file is to have the PID, the process, the run, I mean, runtime info. We can have the, I mean, uh, with the case with which we just, you know, which we just did. For example, okay, but don't try this, okay, at uh, your live environment, all right? Don't spoil things over there. The thing is, yes. it is running right now. Now it is showing as abandoned, all right? What you are seeing sessions at the database also. Now well, let's see if I do any DML. Will it catch? All right. Okay, if you see this, what applicate is used to what applicate from EMP5. So I am inserting in EMP5 and I have committed it. And if you still see the session is still there, okay. The session is still available. All right. But if you see the data got replicated in the target also. And if you check here, the RBA was this, right? Now, if you do info, the RBA has changed. Are you understanding? It is fooling your appearance, isn't it? You understanding, guys? Even though it is showing as abandoned here, it is actually performing the work. Others, Babu, Bhaskar. Okay, awesome. Bhaskar. Yeah, can you check the status once the info all? Because I haven't seen that. Uh, the status. Okay. The see, time. before, uh, I mean, like, okay, I show you again. See here. Earlier, it was running at three, four, two, five, RB. Okay, or at the Trail sequence three. It, okay. it was for I'm okay, T see here for, for running here. Running. Trail sequence yeah. three and RBA three four two five. Then okay. I moved the file. The okay. PCS file. Alright? I, I okay. just did an underscore two. Now when okay. I check the status, it is okay. abandoned, but the rest yes. all are same. Sequence yeah. three RBA three four two five. Then I did one okay. DML here in the source side. Okay. And then if I do this, it is showing me RBA3, but sorry, sequence 3, but RBAC, it has increased. If you want, I will do another DML. Now you will see that RBS increased even more. 
but but ideally that shouldn't be the case right exactly see here so why it happened because someone played with the pcs file now this i'm showing you annually i don't know what cases it can happen you know automatically like due to some uh, server crash or anything put you to some issues in your file system and all would you do the some lock held in your file system and all you know so but i'm just trying to show you that pcs file can fool your appearance okay so the same thing now this is what i face was a reverse key case thing is it was showing me as running here all right but there was nothing at the database and and there means it it was not doing anything i was just having the file okay but actually nothing was there but nothing in the database and no process at the server also because if you just do a cat on that air pcs this process this pid is still there seeing it this will replicate but in my case even this was not there understand me understood but uh, then where, where exactly we have to see uh, the status of the extract whether it's actually uh, doing the work or uh, Awesome. Awesome. as it mentioned so think, in the yes 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 so i just told that there is there was no session in the database you just go to the database and normally for the process where you can do module like and percent the process name and percent here so in my case the session was not there for the for replicate here but this was one thing all right yeah. well, this is the way to find if it is having any session for a particular process here is this is this okay clear So like which is that uh, the P PCR file? I mean, uh, even if the file is not there, uh, and the file got moved also. Sometimes uh, the process mm -hmm. will do the the actual work. Oh yes. The thing is, the objective of PCR. Okay, see, PCR is just for the OGG. Okay, it has well, nothing to do with the OS or the uh, database. It is just for the appearance purpose here by whether it should be running or abandoned what i am showing you is a real time case which i faced now thing is what there was some issue with the os and the fs i don't remember that now it was so long back okay but what this is how i remember is that i was seeing the process as running okay so thing is but normally if you do an info all or if you do a info process name if you see them as running so like you will not do anything more all right will not go and actually check that if it is up or not so you will assume it isn't it the thing is what what happened like app team they started to complain that they are not able to see any data so then i went into the i just saw okay this is showing is me showing me as up then i just try to find okay well let me check what it is doing in the database and when i checked i was shocked i was not able to find any session 
all right fine well, let me check if there is any process id at the os level but even this i did and i was not able to find any pid or any process like if you do r e r b e x t fine so i was like come on i mean if there is nothing there why it is showing me as running you know it should ideally show me as abandoned or stopped isn't it yes so that's what i'm just trying to show you that with pcs the appearance it can be fooled i'm just saying that way so then what i just moved the file so 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 that it should be abandoned and then i started it again then uh, then it will create a new file so just in case you know don't be shocked in case if you feel you know if you see this thing in your uh, database or in your environment where it is showing as running and but nothing is there just check the pcs file all right but well, this is not there much outside because i mean we faced it a lot of times and we later we identified that there is some issue with the storage itself there was some blocking some um, mechanism which was having a which was creating issues for ogg is it okay clear but this is just for your fi i went but uh, uh, recently i doubt you will face oh, i mean all the these things because uh, that was storage which we had it was really old one so we had this issue in that but i doubt i mean nowadays people face this uh, issue and all but just as an fii for for you all okay but yes please don't manually play with it Ma'am, manually do not touch the PCS file. Okay, we can do a cat, but please don't move or anything else. Is that okay? Clear? Yeah, clear. Awesome. Others? Okay, thank you guys. Okay, so I think we'll stop here, all right? There are a few other folders also to explain, like uh, dir temp. Temp is just like as the open name says. Uh, it is used as a for temporary space for the extract and all. If the put data is huge and all, it will store some file here. So this open there is now these are the folders where there is nothing for you to do all right it just stored uh, just in case if it is uh, we can increase the space and all but that's it but nothing more than that well, this is you used by the ogg itself and then you have dir crd now the crd is for the wallet the i mean credential store if you see here you will never find in your production this this way you know password is exposed but this is actually uh, boilation isn't it so yes i will be sh sh showing you how to use the credential store here so that to wallet it will be stored over there and this is def this is like we we usually store for the dev gen file all right this is uh, for the wallet and security i will i mean this we don't use it but it is there much and uh, chk def what dev gen file dr sql file i'll explain to explain to you all but uh, i mean to be frank enough in all this time 
these are the few folders which have hardly been used by me even once and in all the other case also the most uh, frequently used are these one with checkpoint file PRM of course RPT RPT is the one which I use daily all right I'll explain I'll give a brief on all these okay soon I mean I did not store that I think the file is not updated here but I'll update the file and I will show it to you is that okay okay and uh, I just uh, wanted to ask for example if your password file is gone then what will you do because okay these files there I mean there is no backup um, mechanism okay so if this uh, file system or the folder is gone it is gone actually but I want to ask because this one scene it had happened one of the folks they by mistake they you know overwritten the original file they overwrote the original file while the process was up and all but then how to recover it any idea We can have this information in the report. Awesome, 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 awesome. Yes, exactly. Because in the report file, if you check this file, what it does, it scans your param file first, right? Everything which is there in the param file. So yes, that is one way. That is the, I would say, oh, only way actually. Then uh, what we did, then we made the include file again. But we do have backups and all, but just in case, I'm just saying. In case if there is a situation where you don't have any backup or if, for example, your file system is da down okay then what to do then at least okay sorry I mean uh, even if your file system is down then of course even the report file is not accessible sorry but that is not the case just but just in case if your param file is not available and if you don't have any backup then yes you can just see it from the report file Ah, yes, yes, yes. Also, another case for the PCS file. Well, sometimes if you have observed that the process is in starting state for long, would you know, like, uh, have you seen, like, when you try to start the process, sometimes it is in starting state for long time, which is ideally it should not be. Mm, let me check if I can show you here. Ah, nah. Okay, I mean it's test, you know, I mean so I'm not able to show you that actually. Well, let me check if I can show you for the extract.
पास बढ़ा सकते हैं This one, starting state, all right. So sometimes, I mean, I, I'm not sure if you have faced it, but uh, we do see that the process is in starting state for long. That this state, uh, only after this state turns into running, we will see the session. So, if it is in starting state for long, it means that well, something is wrong. No, I mean no process sh should take even more than half an hour and so to be in starting state actually. So even at that point what you can do is you can move the P P PCS file and then if you move the PCS file it, then it will be uh, either stopped or abandoned and then you can again start it. Is it okay? For the extract, you have something like PCE. For for replicate, it is PCR. I mean, these things uh, you just need to uh, remember it actually, because um, I doubt you will face this issue. But yes, it is. Well, you know, once in a while, if you face it, just remember the logic here. This is okay. Clear. Any doubt? Anyone? I have uh, one doubt, but uh, it's not yeah. related to today's class. We can uh, please. Can you please uh, type? I mean, uh, type your doubt. Actually. I'm facing this few uh, background uh, issues actually. It is not audible, so your voice due to the background noise. Thank you, thank you. Babu and uh, Bhaskar, anything? No. All right, so it's all uh, clear, you know? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Replicate, okay, so we have a doubt from Sayyid, that is, replicate is in abandoned state for one DML transaction, which not having the CDR. Um, okay, you are talk, talking for the by direction of Pavan. Is this, it will be abandoned also for the others also. Will this take your doubt after, I mean, outside the class, okay? Because uh, it's something, uh, I mean, we're not clear. Anyways, so, so this is co covered. 
over this is also covered and yes then how to find the extract max size trail size so just if you do an info ext trail we can find it okay let's do an i mean like if you see if you have a trail and if you know if you would need to know you know like uh, what is the extract and all for it and all so you can just see it here for example what this is the extract there's rainfo ext trail just an FIA okay but nothing much to explain here actually and yes so there's something new here uh, it's like um, if you want to know for any parameter all right for example let's take the info param handle collision And really collisions, I think. Collisions, yes. The thing is, if you have any parameter already which you need to use it, so how will you know? No, but what is the uh, default one or for which it can be used for over replicate or extract and etc. And where all it is supported, everything you can find it from info param and that parameter name. So this is a very handy one, even. Well, you can see this opposite also no handle and is it uh, I mean uh, default false the thing is we need to actually add it and then for whom it is used only for the replicate mode for all the platforms for all these supported uh, I mean database and all and is it um, mandatory false and is it dynamic false uh, for dynamic means like if you are ch doing any ch changes in the param file you have to bounce that pr process so that the new changes done in the param file would take effect 